we are going to discuss the concepts of current voltage and power so first let's discuss what is current current is nothing but the flow of electric charge so we are going to discuss about current so i told current is the flow of charge so inside a conductor you know there are a lot of atoms so i'm going to take a conductor there's a lot of atoms present inside the conductor so while considering the case of an atom the atom has a nucleus and outer shells so this is the structure of an atom so this is the outer shells and in the inner core there is a nucleus inside the nucleus there are protons and neutrons i'm denoting protons by p and neutrons by n and in the outer shell of an atom or in the outer shells there are electrons i am representing it with e okay simply i am writing e i am not considering the number of electrons present in the uh, inside the shells i am just representing the electrons here so there are electrons so these electrons are loosely bound with the nucleus so due to this it is easy to knock out the electrons from the outermost shell since it is very loosely bound with the nucleus the force of attraction is less so you can knock out the electrons from the outer shells of a atom so due to this there are a lot of free electrons present inside the conductor so i'm going to represent it with e so inside a conductor there's a lot of free electrons and due to the flow of these electrons current is generated and current can be represented as i equal to q by t that is the rate of flow of this charge so current is nothing but the rate of flow of the charge or electrons the rate of flow of electrons can be represented as current so you know the unit of charge that is q is coulomb so it is represented as c so and time is represented as seconds the unit is seconds so the unit of current i is coulomb per second the unit of current is nothing but ampere i'll write it here ampere is the unit of current so you can write it uh, with either amp or simply a so 1 ampere or amp equal to 1 coulomb per One second or one coulomb per second is one amp or ampere. So this is the unit of current. Next, we are going to discuss the concept of voltage. So we told that the current is the flow of charge or electrons. So how this electrons or how this charge will flow? In order to make the charge or electrons to flow, you need to apply some external force or energy. So this will tend or force the electrons to flow through the conductor. So let's consider that we are going to apply a battery. We are going to connect the conductor to a battery, and this battery will provide the necessary energy to make the electrons flow through the conductor. Since the negative terminal is connected here. what will happen the negative terminal will repel the electrons in this direction and this electrons will be attracted by the positive terminal so the electrons will flow in this direction that is from the negative terminal to the positive terminal and you know the direction of current is in the opposite direction of the flow of electrons that is if the electrons are flowing in this direction the flow of current is in the opposite direction that is from the positive terminal to the negative terminal now this battery is acting as a force or energy which is tempting the electrons to flow so this is voltage that is the energy or the force required to move a charge from one point to another point so i'm going to consider two points a and b i'm going to move a charge q from a to b 
So there is a potential difference between these points A and B and I have to move this charge Q from A to B and the amount of work done to move the charge from A to B is called voltage. So in order to overcome this potential difference you have to you have to do some work. So this work is actually called voltage. That is a work done to move a charge from a point from one point to another point. So we generalize it as unit charge that is the work done to move a unit charge from one point to another point is called voltage. You can write voltage equal to work done per unit charge that is by charge. So the unit is joule by coulomb. So this is the unit for voltage that is voltage equal to joule per coulomb. So what is the generalized unit for voltage? It is volt that is 1 volt equal to 1 joule per coulomb. So this is the unit for Voltage. So voltage is the work done to move a unit charge from one point to another point. You can also write voltage is voltage equal to the energy needed per charge. That is can also be written as E by Q. So due to the amount of work we have done some energy is generated there. So this energy per charge that is how much amount of energy is required to move the charge from one point to another point. So you can also say like that or the work done or the energy needed to move a charge from one point to another point is called the voltage. So you can also write voltage as E by Q per. Power is nothing but the rate at which the energy is consumed or supplied. So the rate of consumption or sup supplying of energy is called power. So, power equal to energy per time. So, the rate at which energy is consumed is the power. So, you can write it as energy E by T. That is the power. And what is the unit of power? The unit of power is watt. Watt is the unit of power. And what 1 watt equal to 1, the unit of energy is joules, joule per second. That is a unit of power. Now, let's write the power in terms of voltage and current. How can you write it? So, let's see. So, we have power equal to E by T. Let's mark it as equation number 1. We know voltage equal to E by Q. So we have discussed that voltage is the energy required to move the charge from one point to another point. So we can write it as E by Q. Let's mark this as a second equation. Now we know current is the rate of flow of charge that is Q by T. So voltage V and current I equal to Q by T. This is equation number 3. So from these three equations, you can derive the equation for power in terms of voltage and current. So what does E from equation number 2? From equation number 2, you have E equal to cross multiply Q into V. That is V into Q. Also, what is T from equation number 3? Q by I. Q by I. So, so if you simplify this, you will get V into Q into I by Q. So, this Q and Q will get cancelled. So, you got a power P equal to V I. So, I will write it here. P equal to V into I. So, this is the relation between power, voltage and current. So power P is nothing but the product of voltage and current. 
I hope you understood what is current, voltage and power and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If yes, please give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.